Hello everyone, Titanic Spider here, and in this video I'll be going over a 40 minute treaty guide for Lakota. On the screen you'll see two different decks. On the left is a no natives deck, and on the right is a natives deck. Let's get right into it. After you have your first villager queued, you want to move some villagers over to gather the wood, because the first thing you're going to want to build is a TP. Once you have the resources to build the TP, you want to make sure you build it close enough to hunts, as well as wood and gold, because the TP inc increases the amount of gather rate that you get. So make sure when you herd, you herd them towards the, towards the TP. After that, you're going to begin gathering for a market and get the hunting dogs upgraded in age 1. As soon as you queue up the hunting dogs, make sure you switch all your villagers off of wood onto food. First shipment you're going to go set, go ahead and send is going to be barrier for increased ga food gathering. With Lakota, you're going to age up with 14 villagers because so you can get 500 food, which is going to help you age up faster into age 3. If you haven't found a wood treasure, once you're comfortable with how much you have on food to get you into the age, next age up, you're going to want to switch some villagers over to wood because you're going to need to be able to gather enough wood to get fur dressings. Again, you want to try and make sure you keep all of your hunts within range of the TP because you do get the increased gather rate. We're going to save the next shipment for age 2 to get Great Hunter because it will give us a little extra food as well to help us go into the next age up. Since we're going to be getting 500 food from the age up and a little extra food from the from the shipment that we're going to send, we're going to be switching most of our villagers off of food onto gold because you need 1,200 food and 1,000 gold, which we'll be getting about 700 from the shipment and the age up. I 
As soon as you age up, make sure you get a villager on, get some villagers on that food. Now you're just going to gather until you have enough to get into age 3. Now that you're age 2, you're going to send Great Hunter, which will increase your food gather rate by 20% and send you a little extra food resource based on what you've gathered over time. If you're going to be overgathered on food and have enough time for the next age up, you can get another villager out. But you're going to want to put most of your villagers onto gold. This way you have enough gold for the next age up. This land is right with treasures that belong next shipment you're going to want to send is going to be Team Spice Trade for a little more food gathering. When you age up, you're going to go with 800 wood because you're going to need that wood for the two TCs. Once you, once you send that, make sure you gather enough food and gold for the wood gather upgrade. And then you're going to switch all, almost all your villagers off of food and gold onto wood because you're going to need 1,000 for two TCs and another 200 to get community plaza because in age three you're going to rush all your villagers before you go into age four Since you get 800 wood from the age up, you're going to need an extra 200 for the TCs and another 200 on top of that for the community plaza. As soon as it's out, go ahead and build that. And then once you have the enough wood for the community plaza, build the community plaza first. Then you can go ahead and, and get the enough wood for the next TC. Because you're going to build both TCs with the explorer. Once you have enough, make sure you get the community plaza built as soon as possible. Set your starting TC to send all new villagers to community plaza because you want to get to 25 villagers. Make sure you set your community plaza to for quicker production of villagers. Next shipment you want to send is going to be Earth Bounty, which will give you a gold trickle, as well as increase your trickle, uh, increase your gold rate on estates later on. At this point, you're going to want to make sure you put most of your villagers. Onto, wood, uh, onto food because you're going to have an increased production rate of villagers so you need to make sure you maintain the amount of villager production with extra food. Also keep in mind that TPs give you the extra food gather rate so make sure you build one nearby. Keep an eye on the community plaza because you, you want to make sure you don't put too many villagers on it and find yourself 
capped with idle villagers. Next, you're going to go ahead and send a wood gathering upgrade while you wait. Just remember, all new villagers sent within the other two Cs, you're going to want to prioritize food because you don't want to have any idle TCs while trying to produce villagers. Make sure you try and keep all your hunts close enough to the TPs, and this way you have an increased gather rate. Once you have 25 villagers on the community plaza, you can make sure you can start sending all new villagers from the other from the starting TC to the to hunts. Once you have enough food generation from hunts, you can start sending new villagers from the from any TC to start gathering gold because you're gonna want to go straight into age four as soon as you're ready. Next shipment, you can go ahead and send exotic hardwoods. You want to try and make sure any villager gathering any resources within the TP aura range. So if they aren't, try to herd them closer, or if you got enough wood, build another TP nearby. You don't want to age up before you get full villagers because as soon as you have full villagers you're going to switch your community plaza over to producing priests so you want to get the villagers out as soon as possible. Depending on preference, you can also begin up gathering 200 wood to get the upgrade on the 
tribal marketplace for the increase for the slight experience trickle if you'd like as soon as you have all of them up you're going to age up with age up very fast keep an eye on your villagers once you have all your villagers out you can switch the community plaza over priests you know, make sure you set the community plaza to produce the priest directly to community plaza if you'd like you can set them to the side and then move one at a time but if you don't but if you don't want to have to micromanage them i like to take one villager off and then leave it going directly to the priest and as soon as directly to community plaza and as soon as i hear it's done as soon as i hear one come out or see it pop up on the top i remove one one more villager off and put it onto trees or somewhere else Now that you're in age four, you're gonna wanna just gather whatever resource required to go into age five. Make sure, next shipment you're gonna send is gonna be North America Trade, which will give every, all your natural resource gathering will also have a gold production as well. When you go into age four, you're gonna go with 30 bison and 40% hunting. My personal preference at this point is to build a war hut in the back somewhere and surround it with, with, a, a, with a wall. This way the bison can't run away. As soon as the war hut's built, make sure you set the make sure you set it so the home city home city shipments go to the war hut. Make sure you get any chopping upgrades out of the out of the marketplace, and make sure you also get that start getting down some farms so you can get the upgrade for for gather rate. You can only get ten priests, so make sure once you have ten, you switch it off and you set it to to experience. You can immediately begin gathering hunts. Now that I got all 10, you still want to keep 25 on there and you can switch it over to start getting gathering of, of experience. This way you can get as many bison as possible. You're going to want to go ahead and send medicine wheels. This way your priests are more efficient on the on the plaza. And make sure you get all those upgrades out of the out of the uh, the farms that you can get. At this point, you're going to send food silos next, and then just all your new experience that you get, you're going to start sending out as many bison as possible and begin food booming. Also, make sure you have a TP within range. This way, you have the increased gather rate on the bisons as well. You're going to want to go ahead. You're going to want to go ahead and make sure you get the TP upgrade as well, so it's got a larger range. This way, you can have a larger range of gather rate.
You can also go ahead and send the Lakota support as well, because you get nine, nine bison out as well. I didn't send food silos yet because I'm not gathering from them yet since I'm just using them for the upgrades, but you got to make sure you get that out as well. What I like to do is set up the forward base as well and start producing my, my military as well. This way I can get the experience from it to get extra, extra bisons as well as military upgrades. And then you're going to trade right around six minutes to get an, from food to gold. You do want to make sure you get enough farms out, just in case you end up with idle villagers. This way you can switch them over to the farms, just in case. But you really don't need to worry too much since you're just mostly going to be sending bison. Just keep an eye on your villagers as they like to just suddenly stop for no apparent reason. If you feel it's getting crowded and there's for some reason they're breaking out, make sure you extend the walls. This way you keep too many of the bison from running away. You have enough bison to keep your villagers busy. You want to also make sure you do get the reduced costs and a couple of other military upgrades as well before you start. Like you're going to want to make sure you get the war hut units can build war huts and corrals. You're going to want to make sure you get you're going to want to make sure you get new ways so you get your arsenal upgrades out of the TPs before a fight starts. But for this this point, you're mostly just focusing on buffalo farming. Just make sure you keep an eye on the villagers because they do like to just stop for no apparent reason and stand around. If you have a lot on, on one bison, you can move a couple around this way. They don't just stand there confused later.
by sending your military early, you'll get the extra experience to get extra buffalo out, you'll have them out already so you don't have to rush later on, and you won't have to worry about spending the food that you're regathering after you've sent the shipment that'll prevent you from having enough resources at the start of the fight. If you do choose to send your military early, make sure you stop at 199 because you're going to overpop sending the two kettle support later. Remember, keep an eye on your villagers. They do like to go idle for no apparent reason, even though there's plenty of bison around to, to, to gather. You can go ahead and send any big buttons that you want that don't cause an overpop, that also do not cost food. This way they're out of the way for later. You can get any food upgrades later, but usually this is about the only one, so 200 food shouldn't hurt right now. The only one you're going to wait till after the trade is going to be the Lakota Tacola soldiers, because that's going to be another overpop after you send the shipment to overpop. If you find your villagers starting to go idle and there's no bison around, that's when you start to switch them over. That's when you start to switch them over to the farms. The reason for wanting to trade early and having your military out early as well is because Lakota have some of the lowest 
if not the lowest food gather rate at, on the farms and rely heavily on bison in order to have their food production since the bison gather rate is 2.52 and the farm is 1.1. With about six to five minutes left, you want us to make sure the next shipment you send is going to be the food trade. This way, once it trades over to gold, you'll have enough time to regather food and be prepared for the next fight. Once the shipment is sent, all new shipments you get will be you will want to make sure they're military shipments, which is why it's very important to send it early, since you'll be relying on farms before the fight. So you want as much time on farms since they do have a much slower gather rate. Now that it's sent, gather up whatever remaining hunt, uh, whatever remaining bison you have left, and switch all the villagers that end up being idle over to farms, because you only have five minutes left to start gathering, finishing up your military, finishing up your walls, finishing up your forward base, whatever you need to set up. But at this point, all that's left to do is make sure you're prepared for the fight. Thank you. 
short tea bag. Now that you got your final shipment going, your final overpop shipment going, go ahead and send the big button on the town center. Double check all your buildings that you have left. Make sure that they're, all the big buttons are sent. Make sure you upgrade your estates. You want to still remain on experience until just before the fight, and then you're going to switch it off later on. So make sure your community plaza is set to control group so you can constantly bounce back and forth between speed, speed of military unit production as well as the damage increase and as well as to reproduce your explorer when needed. The reason why you trade early with all your military out is because you want to make sure you have between 15 and 20,000 food for the start of fight since the gather rate on the farms are so low. This way your food can last as long as possible because you want to get all the military shipments out but then you can begin bison farming again. At this point you want to have a couple of villagers up front to start building walls and have a couple of, of your Wakino rifle riders back a little bit in order to build your forward base for you. If all done well, you should have a score between 230,000 and 236,000. You could have the score much higher if you trade later, but like I said before, you would only be hurting yourself later on because you wouldn't have enough food to maintain the fight until you get to Bison. 20,000 is about the amount that you want for a bare minimum. This way it can last as long as possible since you are going to be heavier on food than you are going to be on gold. And that 100,000 plus gold should last you the entire fight. If not, you want to make sure you start getting your estates down, fully upgraded and prepared to switch over as soon as you can. But just remember that the back needs to have it's set to home city shipments to, in order to make sure your bison spawn here. Make sure you don't accidentally set it to a forward building and then spawn bison right on the front of the battlefield where you're not going to be able to go gather those safely. <laughs> 